Hey everybody, Bill1911. Um, I wanted to show you something that I ran into the other day on a Remington 700. Um, it's not real common, but it does happen. I've seen it about three or four times now. Um, I tell people all the time about the humidity that we have down here in South Florida and how wet things get. Well, down here, we're surrounded on three sides by water, and oh, there's a lot of salt content in that water, okay? So what I wanted to show you was on the bolt face of the Remington 700, there's a little plunger right here, okay? This is what actually ejects the cartridge when you pull the bolt back, okay? As you pull the bolt back out of the chamber, okay, once that cartridge clears the chamber, this piston pushes it out and it flips out of the side, which means that this plunger has to move, okay? Now, it's got somewhat of a stiff spring on it. I ran into one the other day where there was just a tiny little bit of rust around it, okay? And that rust froze that piston to the point where when you tried to put a cartridge in the gun, clunk, it went up against and you could not close the bolt, okay? So if you find that you're trying to put grounds in the gun and it just the bolt just won't close all the way, take a look at that plunger and make sure that it's moving, okay? Now, if it's not moving... You're going to have to get it moving, but make sure you don't drive it all the way in, okay? Go slow, a little bit of movement, a little bit of movement, okay? And make sure that you put some oil on it and let it go in there, okay? Now, I'm going to have people going to argue with me about that. Say, no, don't put oil in there because it'll foul over time. Yeah, it may foul over time, but I'm telling you, if you, that thing freezes on you, you're not going to close that bolt no matter what you do. Now, there is one thing I wanted to add to this, and that is that if you live in a dry climate, you're likely never to run into this problem with that plunger, okay? Um, if you live in coastal United States, okay, well, coastal anywhere, and you're around a lot of water, and you find that in the summertime when it's hot, if you go outside, if anything that you're carrying, like your glasses fog up or anything like that, if you see that your glasses can fog up, then there's a good chance that you can have a problem with humidity getting parts wet in your gun. Uh, most places are pretty dry and you don't have that problem. So, for the most part, you really won't have to worry about this. Hey everybody, Bill1911 here. Hey listen, if you're watching this video, if you're enjoying it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, okay? That's really important to us. And make sure you like us. And by all means, come to visit us at AskBill1911.com.